This is the homework for lesson 10 of module 4, grade 3. Please write your name first. Label the side lengths of the shaded and unshaded rectangles. And then find the total area of the large rectangle by adding the areas of the two smaller rectangles. So here's what we're talking about for A. Our example is we're looking at a rectangle here. That's the shaded one, and here's the unshaded one there. This side is 8. And we can just finish labeling the opposite sides here. So the, the idea here is we, this is the distributive property where we're multiplying and adding. So 9 times 8, we get that from 5 plus 4 for this side, and 8 is the whole rectangle. And that's equal to the 5 plus 4 that I just circled, right? This 5 plus 4 times 8. You could also look at that as the, let me use a different color. This is the 5 times 8 here that's the shaded rectangle and the 4 times 8 that's the area of the unshaded rectangle so those two added together have to be the same as use another color the whole thing which is 9 by 8 and now the trick for filling in the blanks for these is you look up. So whatever this 5, whatever goes here, look up. That 5 times 8 is what goes there. So that's 40. And this 4 times 8 is 32. And so what goes here is 40 plus 32. And those are pretty easy digits to do mentally. 72, so it's 72 square units. All right, I'll, I'm going to be a little, I'll do another example, and then I'll, I'll start to go a little bit faster. So this is 12 times 5 because there's 12 rows of 5 for the whole thing. And that is the same as this 2 here plus this 10 so that's 10 plus 2 times that 5 look at it this way we have the 2 times 5 rectangle which is this one here and this ten times five rectangle which is the shaded one the big one on the top the 2 times 5, that's 2 times 5 is 10. And the 10 times 5 is what goes in this blank here. That's 50. 50 plus 10 is what goes here. That's 60. 60 square units. Clean up that 60 because it kind of looks like a 66. There. The whole thing is seven time seven by thirteen. So that means this whole side here is thirteen. Now we've got to label all these sides, right? So this we can see this side here is three, and that's seven. And if this side is that part is three, the shaded part has to be ten. So the 13 
is 10 plus 3 just like we have here right because it's this 10 plus that 3 so there's that's where the 10 plus 3 comes from that makes the 13 clean that up a little bit with my eraser so seven times the shaded rectangle here is seven times ten and seven times three here is the unshaded rectangle so the two of those added together should be the whole thing which is seven times thirteen so seven times three goes here that's twenty one and seven times ten goes here seventy right just keep just go straight down for solving what's inside the parentheses. That's all we're doing here on this step. And then we add the 70 plus the 21, and those are friendly digits, which is what you get when you add multiples of 10. So that's 91, 91 square units for the whole thing. It's 9 times 12. Maybe you don't need your 12s that well. Um, so 12, we're going to look at, this is 10 plus 2. And this side here is 9. And so that's the shaded rectangle is 9 times 10. there and the unshaded one is 9 times 2 and we're just going to keep we're going to solve both of these right here's our plus our addition symbol so we're looking on either side of that on the right side we have 9 times 2 that's 18 on the left side of that addition symbol we have 9 times 10 and that's 90 90 plus 18 is 100 eight square units that's the distributive property it's when you're adding it's a great way to do crazy multiplication by chunking up big uh, big factors into smaller factors that you can add the products together really easily in your head using just using twos fives and tens Finn imagines one more row of nine to find the total area of a nine by nine rectangle. Explain how this could help him solve nine times nine. Well, ten is one of the easiest numbers to multiply because it's really easy to skip count by ten. So even if you don't know your tens, and you should be able to learn them pretty quickly, you can count by tens really easily to find them. So here's the idea this is kind of a little backwards distributive trick this whole thing is 10 this is 9 and that's 1 so here's how you can do it and oh, all the way across the top this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's 9 and that's 9 now we've been using distribution to to uh, add but you can also use it to subtract and uh, what I really mean by that is that what we could do is take this whole 10 by 9 we could take this whole 10 by 9 rectangle this whole thing and then which is really easy to do 10 times 9 and then just subtract this row, this last row of 9, and then we'll have, then we'll have this 9 by 9 left. So here's how it works. 10 times 9, right? That's the whole thing. Subtract a row of 9, which is just... 9 is going to equal 9 times 9.
And really, what I could do, just to, if I wanted to make it look even more complicated, I could write this as 9 times 1. 1 times 9. So if I took the whole thing and subtracted out, subtracted this row, then I would have the 9 by 9 left. And this is 90 minus 9 equals 81. Multiplying by 10 is easy. So subtract a 9 to get 9 nines. And shade an area to break the 16 by 4 rectangle into two smaller rectangles. Then find the sum of the areas of the two smaller rectangles to find the total area. Explain your thinking. So this is just the same thing that we were, we've been doing here on the first page. And we want to work with twos, fives, and tens whenever we can. So let's just get ten. This is four. And that's four. And let's make this 10 and 6. So we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There. So this one's going to be 10. Here, I'm going to shade one of these just so we can see the difference. Oops. And this is going to be 6, like that. So we've got the uh, 6 rows of 4 plus, that's this one here, the 10 rows of 4, that's this one there, equals the whole 16 times 4. Right, so this this 6 times 4 is 24. You can count the squares if you want to. And then this 10 times 4 is 40. That should be pretty easy multiplication. So then we have the 24 plus the 40. That still equals 16 times 4. And 24 plus 40, this, these are pretty friendly digits, which you always get friendly digits when you're adding multiples of 10. 64 equals 16 times 4. And we've seen this 16 times 4 on previous homework assignments. So maybe that's starting to get a little familiar too.